Golden Doodle Top 10 Facts Doodles are high-energy creatures that need at least 30 minutes of daily exercise. They are very social creatures that should not be separated from their families for long periods of time. Do you consider purchasing a Golden Doodle? In this video, you will learn everything about the top 10 facts about Golden Doodle, so you can find out if this dog is best for you. In the list of top 10 facts about Golden Doodle, at number 10, we have Golden Doodles are not considered the safest watchdogs. Puppies can range in size from miniature to regular and have one of three coat types – straight, wavy or curly, depending on their pedigree. Golden Doodles are intelligent, affectionate and social dogs. They are a great choice for first-time dog owners because they learn easily and are reasonably easy to train. Doodles make excellent friends as well as capable sport dogs. When a Golden Doodle is not working as a therapy dog, guide dog or a sniffer dog, it's most definitely working as a therapy dog, guide dog or sniffer dog. Owing to their abundance of love and exceedingly sweet disposition, Golden Doodles are not considered the safest watchdogs. Next on the list at number 9, we have Susceptible to Separation Anxiety if left alone and not properly exercised, many golden doodles are susceptible to separation anxiety and can chew furniture. Doodles are often thought to be relatively stable and free of many diseases that can be passed down through the generations. The golden doodle is classified as a hybrid breed, which means it is not recognized by the breed organizations such as the AKC, UKC and CKC, but that has not stopped breed enthusiasts. Golden Doodle puppies are a wonderful addition to any family and are expected to outnumber many dog breeds on their way to being one of the most common pets on the planet. Adult Golden Doodles are known for their incredible friendliness and an overabundance of affection. Next on the list at number 8 we have Easy to Train. Doodle puppies, like Doodle adults, are sweet and affectionate, but they also have a lot of energy. Doodle puppies are known for killing their stuffed animals nipping at fingers and zooming from zoom to zoom like possessed animals. Nipping, growling and jumping are all typical behaviours but don't be alarmed. Doodle puppies are no more harmful than other puppies and are relatively easy to train despite their high energy. Patience, praise and discipline are needed when housebreaking a puppy. Parents of Golden Doodle puppies should spend as much time as possible with their puppies, especially during the first three weeks. When it comes to obedience training a Golden Doodle puppy, positive reinforcement strategies are the most successful. Agility courses and dog parks are both perfect places for new Golden Doodle puppies to socialize and work off their puppy energy. Next on the list at number 7, we have Hybrid Wigger. A Golden Doodle's features may resemble those of the Standard Poodle or the Golden Retriever, depending on its ancestry. Golden Doodles of the first generation, or F1, are the direct offspring of a standard poodle and a golden retriever. F1 Golden Good Doodles are hypoallergenic and often show hybrid vigor, which means they are usually healthier than any parent. F1B Golden Doodles are the offspring of a golden doodle and a standard poodle, and they have a lot of standard poodle characteristics, including a curly hypoallergenic coat. Doodles were originally bred as guide dogs and as a hypoallergenic substitute for people who are blind and allergic to dogs. Since the Golden Doodle is a crossbreed, many breed organizations such as the AKC, UKC and CKC do not recognize it. Next on the list at number 6, we have Amusingly Expressive for a Dog. In comparison to other medium-sized breeds, Golden Doodles have a big head. The Golden Doodle's skull is long and slightly arched, with a Golden Retriever hump on top of the head. The muzzle is medium in length, straight and jowl-free. Doodles have their parents' big teeth and fuzzy ears. They have big, engaging eyes that show a keen intellect, as well as a face that is almost often amusingly expressive for a dog. Depending on their parentage, Golden Doodles may be small and slender, or stocky and muscular. Divide the combined weights of the Golden Doodle puppy's parents by two to get an estimate of the puppy's potential height. Next on the list at number 5, we have Golden Doodle Coating is a distinguishing characteristic of the breed. Even though it varies greatly from doodle to doodle, the golden doodle coat is a distinguishing characteristic of the breed. The coat of a doodle is heavily influenced by the dog's biology and parentage. A curly hypoallergenic coat may be inherited by golden doodles with a lot of dominant poodle genes. 
Doodles with a lot of dominant golden retriever genes are more likely to have a straight, non-hypoallergenic coat. Black, copper, white, cream, green, golden, apricot, and red are some of the colors they have on their jackets. The shaggy golden doodle coat is a cross between a curly poodle's coat and a golden retriever's straight coat. Next on the list at number 4, we have Born in a variety of sizes. Petite, small, medium, and regular golden doodles are born in a variety of sizes. Petite and miniature golden doodles are a cross between a golden retriever and a miniature poodle, with a height of 14 to 17 inches and a weight of less than 35 pounds. Medium golden doodles are between 17 and 21 inches tall and weigh between 50 and 100 pounds. Standard golden doodles are the most popular and the largest golden doodle breed. Golden doodles must be at least 21 inches tall and weigh more than 50 pounds to be considered standard. Next on the list at number 3, we have both a service dog and a family pet. The Golden Doodler's personality is one of the reasons it is one of the most common dog breeds in the world. The popularity of Golden Doodles as both a service dog and a family pet is due to their positive personality traits. Golden Doodles are affectionate, sweet, and full of joyful energy for their family and any mission that they are given. Doodles are usually gentle and compassionate with children and other pets and actively seek out the company of their family, so all children should be taught how to approach and pet their new doodle. The Golden Retriever and the Standard Poodle are consistently ranked among the smartest dog breeds in the world. The Golden Doodle, a cross between a Golden Retriever and a Standard Poodle, is a highly intelligent dog who, when properly trained, eagerly obeys its owner's commands. Next on the list at number 2, we have eagerly obeys its owner's commands. The Golden Doodle, a cross between a Golden Retriever and a Standard Poodle, is a highly intelligent dog who, when properly trained, eagerly obeys its owner's commands. The Golden Doodle's intellect makes it a versatile breed that can perform a variety of tasks ranging from leading the visually impaired to sniffing for drugs and search and rescue. Finally, on the list at number 1, we have Not Much Skilled at Hunting. Golden Doodles are very active and energetic dogs who enjoy participating in a variety of sports. Though a Golden Doodle is unlikely to refuse any outdoor exercise, they're not as skilled at hunting and retrieving as their hunting dog owners would suggest. Doodles are devoted, affectionate, intelligent and athletic dogs. Doodles enjoy romping and playing as well as a nice swim. Golden Doodles are quick and will sprint if given the opportunity. Golden Doodle owners should invest in a large enclosed area, such as a fenced-in yard where their dog can romp comfortably and play. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you do not miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.